So recently on stream at mixer.com slash cactus puppy, I've been doing this thing where I talk through my thought process of what I'm doing, but sometimes games get a little hectic and I'm unable to really perform and think at the same time. So I figured I'd take a game where I was solo healing on Ana and do something similar, but without the pressure of actually needing to perform the actions. So here we're holding Hanamura. And, spoiler alert, we will indeed be full holding. And I want to talk through my thought process and what led to this full hold. I do select Ana here because I see the Genji, and I think that Nanoblade might be a good combo. The rest of my team hasn't really locked in yet, so I'm not really going to know what to do in that case. But either way, I'm rolling out an Ana because I want to practice it. I'm really hoping for a second healer here, but I'm not stressed about it because it's quick play. But either way, I am going to be trying my best. I don't really check what the rest of my team has selected at this point. I'm just practicing my quick scopes, trying to stay warmed up. I played a few games before this, but really, or it is always crucial as an Ana player to stay warmed up. Also, apologies for any frame drops. Uh, I'd been struggling with OBS that day, and I have fixed it, but. Fortunately, this recording doesn't really have that. Also, apologies for any background noise you might hear. It's getting rather windy here in the Bay Area, and... Yeah, well, either way, I see my Genji take a little bit of poke damage. I'm playing by the turret because it'll afford me some protection if anybody goes in to dive. See the Moira Orb? Really want to avoid that. Don't want to use my nade early. I see the Tracer in, but she recalls, so I try and shoot the Ana. I miss, unfortunately. And I see my Genji's low. I hear footsteps to my left. I throw a Sleep Dart just to try and see if I can catch anybody. I know that it's probably the Tracer by the footsteps, so I'm keeping an eye out top left, but I'm really trying to keep my team healed up here because I am the solo healer. So the turret goes down, and I see the Tracer is top left indeed, so I want to be looking to try and find her. I rotate just so that she can't blink onto me, and the Tracer dies, so I know it's safe to go back, but I take a little bit of poke damage from the far, so I have to throw down my nade to heal. I see somebody is low on the right-hand side, so I know the far is over there. I see she's on the point now. I throw a Sleep Dart to try and hit her, and I'm very fortunate for where it lands. Unfortunately, I missed the shot, so I don't get the one-shot combo, but she blows herself up, so that's all good. I hear the Moira on the left, so I don't rotate immediately to the Hanzo. I do not want to get hit by a Moira Orb at this point, especially since I don't have a second support. I rotate back here to the turret again because it affords me some protection, and it's going to draw fire for me, as well as my teammates. So everybody's nice and healthy now. I'm just going to try and focus on healing. Unfortunately, my ash falls off the side of the map. I didn't really notice at the time. So the turret is down, and I know the far is going to be looking to push in, but I really need to keep my Arisa alive. She's solo tanking, and that is the crucial anchor point of our team. Everybody's really relying on that shield. I'm relying on that shield. I see the dragon come in. I can see my teammates through it. I see my Hanzo is low, but he's not in immediate danger, so I'm going to focus on keeping my Arisa alive. He's probably going to be the target of some incoming fire. I see the summer coming in, but I am confident in my ability to land these scope shots without being under pressure. Unfortunately, my Hanzo dies before I can heal and use the Moira Orb. So I see the Moira throw out Coalescence. I'm gonna throw a nade on my Arisa because she's being focused and I'm going to be able to keep her alive through it. The Sabra hacks me, but I don't have any cooldowns, so it's not a big concern. I just focus on dodging her fire and keeping my Arisa alive. Again, the Arisa is the number one priority in a comp like this. Have to keep her alive, have to keep that shield up. Dragon up again. I nano my Arisa to keep her alive while I go and grab a health pack, because I don't want to use nade. It's not on cooldown just yet. My Torb's the only person I can peek right now, especially with the Farah coming in. I throw a shot to try and get her, but unfortunately that results in my Arisa dying because I am the solo healer and nobody else is able to keep her alive and she's holding a little far forward and not in my sightline. Two of our uh, players are down, make that three. I see the Sombra go in right side. I throw in a cheeky little quick scope shot to try and tag her, force her to back up. Whatever the case may be, I see the McCree coming in. I want to try and land the sleep on him. Unfortunately, I miss, so I'm going to back around the corner. I could really could have died there, but fortunately, I didn't. I see the Mercy floating in the air. I know I can't take out the Faro while she's being pocketed, so I'm just going to take out the Mercy. Unfortunately, the Dragon takes out the Faro while she's ulting. 
So right there, I knew the McCree and the Moira were around the corner, but unfortunately I hard scope for a little too long and I get logged by the Hanzo. My team manages to clean it up because I managed to keep them alive for long enough. I'm going to move over to the right side now because it's going to afford me the ability to get back to cover quickly and, for and I will have to make this jump very shortly. I'm keeping an eye on the kill feed. I see the Hanzo's managed to take out the Mercy, which is a crucial first pick, and the turret's going to pick off the Tracer, so that is a good start. I break the railing, jump over, and make it just barely. I see my Genji is low. I quick scope him, and that's the game. Hopefully you enjoyed this little bit of a stream of consciousness. If you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments. 5,549 healing in four minutes for a first hold and play of the game. For Ana, rather rare if I do say so myself. I was rather proud to get this one at the time. I do let my Arisa die here for the play of the game, and I let her die twice. But I think I did a pretty good job of keeping everyone alive. I get stuck on the pillar, but I get to the Hanzo after that. 57% of team damage taken as a solo Someone healer. That's not a bad performance if I do say so myself. Well, that's been pretty much it for this little stream of consciousness. I've been Cactus Puppy. I hope you've enjoyed. And again, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I do stream occasionally to Mixer.com slash Cactus Puppy. If you'd like to see more, I'm out. Bye-bye. <laughs>